we must understand that Satan and his demons are master manipulators, deceitful liars through and through. However, since the Catholic Church has authority over Satan and his minions, during a Catholic exorcism, the demons are forced to obey the priest and tell the truth, even Satan himself. Sometimes the priest will force the demons to admit certain things. The Catholic exorcists tell us that when forced, the demons admit that the rosary is the weapon they fear most. In some cases, they've even recorded this on audio tape. Here are four exorcists or exorcism cases that show the demons admitting the truth about the rosary. By the way, it may seem in this video like the demons are giving this information up voluntarily. They aren't. If you listen to the audio recordings of some of the cases I've included, as I have, they only give this information up after being repeatedly ordered to by the priest. They don't want this information to get out, so keep that in mind as you watch the video. Father Gabriel Amorth was the chief exorcist for the Vatican before his death a few years ago. Father Amorth, in an interview, said once during an exorcism, he interrogated Satan about the Virgin Mary. Father Amorth, what are the virtues of the Madonna that make you the angriest? She makes me angry because she is the humblest of all creatures, and because I am the proudest, because she is the purest of all creatures, and I am not, because of all creatures she is the most obedient to God, and I am a rebel. Tell me the fourth characteristic of the Madonna that makes you so afraid of her that you are more afraid when I say the Madonna's name than when I say the name of Jesus Christ. I am more afraid when you say the Madonna's name because I am more humiliated by being beaten by a simple creature than by him. Tell me the fourth characteristic of the Madonna that makes you the most angry. Because she always defeats me. Because she was never compromised by any taint of sin. Every Hail Mary of the Rosary is a blow to the head for me. If Christians knew the power of the Rosary, it would be the end of me. The Rosary was given to St. Dominic in the 12th century to combat the Albigensian heresy. Once, when confronted with a possessed Albigensian, he asked Mary to force the demons who possessed the man to reveal the truth about devotion to her. The devils were thus forced by her to reveal the secrets of the Rosary. Now that we are forced to speak, we must tell you this. Nobody who perseveres in saying the rosary will be damned, because she obtains for her servants the grace of true contrition for their sins, and by means of this they obtain God's forgiveness and mercy. Well, Annalise Michelle, actually. The movie was based on the real case of Annalise Michelle, a German girl who was possessed in the 1970s. The sessions were tape recorded. The following are excerpts from the tapes translated into English. The priest begins. It is the month of the rosary. Did you know that? Yes, but only the fewest pray. The fewest pray? Yes. And in church, all too few pray because the priests think it's unfashionable. Yes? Yes. All of them? Almost. If only the dumb had a clue. Why do you fear the rosary? Why? 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 Yes, why? Because it. Because. Because. Because it. No, I will say it. Tell me this by God. Because it is a strong... What? Shut your mouth. Yes. Because it is a strong weapon. Yes. Against Satan. Yes. And all the demons. Yes. Against us. I must say it. The rosary is a powerful weapon against... Yes. Against Satan and all the demons. But many do not believe it. They think it is a thing for women, fortunately. Whose fault is that? We are. You are? We are. An Italian priest, Father Ambrogio, commanded the demon Beelzebub to say what the rosary does to him. He recorded the interrogation on October 7, 2019. This is what Beelzebub had to say about the rosary. The rosary destroys me. Every Hail Mary bursts my brain. It is a very simple prayer that not everyone does, but whoever prays it is unified with the life of Christ and Mary. My brain explodes to hear the same song. I can't stand it. It even annoys me whoever has it in his hand, even if he does not pray it. I just can't stand it. Mary loves this prayer. And he who prays it, his family has special protection. I can't enter that home. I have not been given permission, because the power of the Holy Rosary in the family crushes me. And in those families, even if there is only one person who prays it, he can save the rest of his family. Her favorite mysteries are those of the Passion of Christ, 
because there is all the salvation of humanity, and the glorious ones she did not. But he who recites the rosary, I come to disturb them with thoughts and distractions. One should also pray with their children, teach them this prayer before I come to bother, because later I will steal their purity. Parents should pray the rosary for their children, because I want to destroy the family and the young. To whom prays the rosary, she gives many graces, so many, so many, and I can't stand it. The novenas also blow my mind. I can't stand them, above all, virgin and tired of knots. Concerning the litanies at the end of the rosary. They crush me, they bore me, because it is continuous praise, 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 but she deserves it. Those who do not pray them are wrong. Exorcist Father Chad Ripperger said in a video on YouTube titled, Rosary, a Spiritual Weapon, the very prayers of the rosary drive Satan and the demons out. They can't stand them. The nemesis of Satan is Our Lady. She is the destroyer of his minions, his kingdom. She lays waste to all their activities, renders them impotent, incapacitates them, instills fear in them just at the thought of her, just when they hear about her, and therefore her rosary will do the same. Until my next video, God bless.